Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to use Mediator package to implement CQRS in c -sharp. So let's start by explaining what CQRS means. It is a shortcut for command and query responsibility segregation. So anytime we have a very complex um, application with complex business logic, we want to separate the actions into two categories. So the first category would be commands, the second queries. Commands are any actions which result in modifying the database. For example, in a bookstore, it might be add book, delete book, modify book. And queries are the actions which result in fetching data. So for example, get book by ID would be uh, an example of a query. So, uh, how to implement this pattern in C-Sharp? We use the Mediator NuGet package. Uh, Mediator basically implements the Mediator um, design pattern, which means that we have a publisher and a subscriber. So, to implement CQRS using Mediator, we would uh, create publishers, which will be commands and queries, and subscribers, which will be command handlers and query handlers. Let's see how it looks in practice. Let's start by implementing the mediator package. I'm going to right click on the project, go to the NuGet packages, and I have the appropriate packages already installed, so mediator and mediator.extensions Microsoft dependency injection. Then I will have to go to the startup CS file and add the line services.addmediator type of startup. This is the basic setup for the mediator in ASP.NET Core uh, Web API project. So here we have the entities folder with a one basic class called book. It is a public class containing one property of type string called name and a basic constructor which initializes the property. Then we have the let's go to the comments folder and add book folder and then add book command that's yes. This is the basic command that will be used to add a book, to perform the action of adding a book. It is a public class, add book command, which implements the interface iRequests, which is a part of the mediator package. It contains the, the book property and a basic constructor. So basically, when creating the add book command, we will be passing as a part of this command the book uh, instance which we want to, to add. Then we have the add book command handler. So this handle method will be invoked when we send the add book command using the mediator. So it is a basic public class add book command handler implementing I request handler of add book command. So we are basically telling the uh, mediator framework that this class will be used to handle the add book commands. We are using the mediator namespace and we have the basic handle implementation which takes in two parameters. The first one is the command and the second one is the cancellation token. So I will not delve into the concrete implementation of adding a book to the database so I will just leave to do and then we have to return unit.task. This uh, command, add book command, does not return any result. So if we have commands we, which do not re return any result, we need to return unit.task. This is the general um, part of the library uh, syntax. So um, this is the how, the how we build commands. Let's see how to build queries. So let's go to the getBookQuery.cs. We have I request basic public class called getBookQuery, which imp implements the interface I request of type of generic type book. So we are basically telling the framework that this class, this query, is a request which will have a result of type book. So anytime we are invoking the getBookQuery, we want to get Book, book object in return. So the query contains one field called name of type string. So basically we will be looking for given book using the name property. 
Then we have the getbook query handler, which implements the I request handler of getbook query and book. So we are telling the, the, framework, the, the framework that this handler will handle the get book queries and it will return book entity. So inside of the handle method, as, as before, I'm not going to implement this uh, in a con concrete way. I will just leave it to do. So basically, here we would have the implementation of looking for a book inside of the database by name. But uh, for the demo purpose, I will just return task that from result and create a new book instance um, and pass as a parameter to the constructor the name that is passed inside of the request body. We need to use the task, task from, dot from result because this handle method returns task of book. So this is how the how we can um, build the uh, queries. Let's see how to use both commands and queries inside of the controller. So let's go to the book controller. We have two actions here. So we have the HTTP get method, which returns task of book and takes as a parameter one one parameter string name. So inside of this method, we are going to construct new object query, instantiate this with get book query of name. So we are creating a query right here and we are using the underscore mediator dot send to invoke this query, to send this query, to, uh, to run this query. So to use the mediator object, uh, we have to create a private property of type iMediator, which is a part of the mediator package, and instantiate this via constructor by using the parameter iMediator mediator and initializing the, the property with this value. Um, to use commands, we use the HTTP POST method. We are constructing the command using the new addbook command of the book, which is passed as a part of the request. And the same, in the same manner as with the get method, we are using the underscore mediator dot send command. So invoking the send method right here would return the result of this getbook query. So basically we are creating getbook query, we are sending this, and as a result, the getbook query handler will be invoked and the given book will be returned. Same for the HTTP POST method. We are creating addbook command, we are sending this using mediator, and as a result, addbook command handler will be invoked and we will return the basic UI in the task object and perform the actions that are needed to add the book to the database. So this is the basic uh, example of using uh, uh, commands and queries using Mediator and how we can implement the CQRS pattern in C Sharp using this library. I hope that you understood the concept and I hope to see you soon.